really, really lucky to have uh, Rugby Wilson. Welcome to Food Toilet. Welcome to Meredith Dairy. Thank Dairy. you, sir. Thank <laughs> you, sir. It's a really, really special place here. This this cheese is pretty synonymous around this area. And in fact, around the whole country, isn't it? Yes. Tell us a little mm. bit about how the farm came to be. So the farm is owned by the Cameron family. Okay. And the Camerons have been here uh, since the Second World War. Right. So that's uh, four generations of the family. And there's presently three generations living on the farm. Wow, wow. How big is the actual property? That's the probably a good pro question. Well, the property uh, is about 4,600 acres. Wow. You've obviously we've got our wonderful product here. So we're talking goat's cheese. Was it originally a goat farm when it started, back after World War II? It, no, the goats are a recent thing. It uh, was a sheep and wool growing property. Okay. With right. some cropping as well. Yeah. And uh, whatever else farmers could do to make a living back then. Yeah. Uh, in um, the early 90s um, Sandy Cameron came home from university and the, uh, the wool industry collapsed mm -hmm. and he decided that he would uh, go into milking sheep. Milking sheep, wow. Mm. wow. Yeah. How many goats and sheep does the property actually run? Uh, at the moment we've got um, 5,000 dairy goats right. and we've got about uh, 3,000 dairy sheep. Is there one specific dairy or is there many? There's, well, there's actually four four dairies, one's for sheep and three for goats. Right, right. And we're just in the process of building another one. Oh, right, well. Mm. So, all right, so you've obviously got all those, all those sheep, all those goats producing these products. How many litres of milk do you think you'd produce, say, weekly? Okay, uh, yeah, so the goats, it, it does vary, to the time of the year. Okay. They have yeah. it, it, times of high productivity and times of lower productivity. At the moment it's springtime, late springtime, so we're in a high period of lactation. Yeah. And Gary's processing 6,000 litres of goat milk a day. Wow, a day. Yeah, yep. wow. so the goats, he's, uh, the goats give about two to three litres of milk per animal per day. Wow, wow. And we're uh, getting about 1,400 litres of sheep milk a day. So let's talk about the process of, of your cheese. Obviously you, you're getting your, your milk coming down to your factory each day. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about say this product here. Okay this Tell is a, this one. so this is a jar of marinated goat's cheese right? and it's in a garlic infused olive oil yeah. and it's got some infusion of herbs in it as well. Okay right. So this cheese is to the time the animal is the goat is milked to the, when it's packed into that jar is three days. Three days, wow. It takes three days to get it from, a, from, from milking the goat to having it in this jar here. Now, is there reasons why you put the oil on it? Well, if you open that jar, you'll see that the oil is filled to the brim. Right. And it's, so it's an oxygen barrier. Right. It's like um, when you vacuum pack cheese to, or vacuum pack anything, like vacuum pack meat or, um, in this case we vacuum packed cheese, you're trying to get the oxygen away from the fresh cheese so you can give it a longer lifespan. Mm, mm. So by submersing it in the oil, um, gives it that oxygen barrier and it's olive oil and olive oil has other properties that preserve foods in. So what are your other products that you, you supply? So we make, uh, this is our sheep milk yogurt. Okay. Now this is, um, this is a fairly quick process to make. Uh, we would milk the sheep this morning Yep. in the morning and then we could um, pasteurize that milk and then it will go into um, these pots right. as, as, a, as a pasteurized milk with the, the yogurt culture in it and then it will, those pots will go into a, an incubator which is a warm room it's about 40 degrees mm. and it's in there for around six hours okay. and then it's taken out and then put into a cool room and cooled down and as soon as that's cooled down to under five degrees, mm. it can be sh shipped out and it's that quick and go on the shop shelf. Wow, wow! So then you've obviously got what's this one here, mate? So this is um, fresh goat curd, which is a very it's an interesting one. It's a very fresh cheese. It has no salt in it, mm. so it's it's low salt. Um, the only salt that's in it is what's naturally occurring in the milk, right, right. which is a very tiny amount, and it's um, very low in fat. Right. It, it's a fairly wet cheese. Mm. So that is, so the fresh milk is pasteurised, it is then inoculated with the culture, mm. and it's put into a, a maturation tank, which is um, 
usually overnight. And then in that process of what they call lactic curd fermentation, mm. the, the acidity of the, the bacteria turning the milk into cheese makes the milk acid. So it brings it down to from neutral mm. to around 4.5 pH. Right, right. Which gives it that, that acidity, that citrus flavour that you get in it. Mm. And then it's literally just put straight into those tubs. Wow. wow. So it would take um, 24 hours. You could have that so that's from bean milk yeah. to in that tub there. So that's literally 24 that's hours 24 old. That's 24 hours old. So that was yesterday's that's milk. That's amazing. That is incredible. That's today's cheese. Yeah, yeah. Now over to, to your to your chef. So Chev is um, is fresh goat's cheese. Right. It's a, it's a it, there's it's not a feta. Feta mm. is a rennet set cheese, and mm. and but Chev is is basically curd with the whey drained out of it. Right. So it's a soft cheese. It is quite soft, isn't it? Mm. And it has a small amount of salt in it as a preservative, as right. opposed to the fresh goat curd. So I see you also do various other types of the Chev cheese as well. Yeah. So so Bevan, these are some retail packs okay. we do, and this one here has got fresh dill. Um, mixed through the cheese yep. and that's a great cheese it goes with um, smoked salmon yep. it's fantastic on baked potatoes so, yes. what's this one? This, this so this is um, this is an interesting one it's mm. it's dusted with with ash okay and the ash is wood ash coating cheese in ash was a traditional way of preserving cheese right so when they had fresh cheese they didn't really have any other way of preserving it or keeping it mm. um, I mean you can put it in oil like here but uh, so they, it was probably found by accident where someone dropped the cheese in the ash and... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Realised it worked. Yeah, they uh, liked the taste of it yeah. and uh, they found that it kept, they could roll it up in a, in a, in a roll and just keep it on the shelf. Right, and wow. So that, um, it doesn't change the taste that much, but it, it does, it's a good visual presentation. It looks very good on a cheese board. Mm. Uh, it looks great through a salad, the mm. black and white.